Hello, welcome to Tejas Education. This video is based on mineral based industries. Please watch the entire video. All the important questions just come in the past papers and sample paper has been discussed. What is a mineral based industry? A very important question. Industry that use minerals and metals as raw materials are called mineral based industry, example iron and steel, cement, chemical, etc. Let's go in detail of iron and steel industry. The iron and steel industry is the basic industry since all other industries, heavy industry means shipbuilding, oil industry, mining industry, medium industries like the one that uh, produce ceramic tiles, aluminium window doors and light industry, cloth, shoe, consumer electronic industries. They all depend on iron and steel for their machinery. This is an important question. Now we learn about importance of steel. Steel is needed to manufacture a variety of engineering goods, construction material, defense, medical, telephonic, scientific equipment and a variety of consumer goods. Example of goods made of steel, railing, steel bridge, metal roofing, vehicles. Now we learn about different steel plants in India. Salem, Badravati, Vijayanagar, Vishakapatnam, Milai, Raurkela, Jamshedpur, Bukairo, Bhunpur and Durgapur. So which is the largest steel plant in India? It is Bilai. Which is the first steel plant? Raurkela. And which city is famous for the steel plant? Bokaro, Jharkhand, the city of Jharkhand. And there can be another question that they will ask. India is in collaboration with Russia. Which two steel plants are collaborated with Russia? The answer will be Bokaro and Bilai. So the name two steel plant, we can say Bokaro and Bilai. These two are very famous. And these two are in collaboration with Russia also. So now we mentioned various facts about steel industry. Production and consumption of steel is often regarded as the index of country's development. Explain. The answer is the iron and steel industry is the basic industry since all other industries heavy, medium and light depend on it for their machinery. Steel is needed to manufacture a variety of engineering goods. The list is there. You can note it down. Example of goods made of steel, railing, steel bridge, etc. These are, these are the points we just revised few minutes ago. So try to understand and learn the answer. Why iron and steel is a heavy industry? Explain. All the raw material as well as finished goods are heavy, bulky, entailing heavy transportation of goods. Iron ore, coking coal, and limestones are required in ratio of approximately 4 is to 2 is to 1. What is coking coal? It is an irreplaceable input to produce steel. Without that, without these three, the steel production will be difficult. Some quantities of manganese are also used to harden the steel. So please note down these three points and the question. Where should the steel plants be ideally located? We know that industry is located near to its raw material availability. Steel plants are ideally located near iron and coal mines. The raw materials are heavy. So if the steel plants are away from the natural site, then transporting cost will be very expensive. India is ranked among third in world crude steel producers. What is crude steel? It is the first solid steel produced after the solidification of liquid steel. It is the largest producer of sponge iron. What is sponge iron? Sponge iron is used as a substitute for scrap and is useful in making steel. So now the obvious question is, what is scrap? Scrap is also very important to control heat in the steel making process. Why is the per capita consumption of steel so low in India? Very important question. 
irregular supply of energy, poor infrastructure, high cost and limited availability of cooking coal, lower productivity of labor. You have to elaborate these points. Then only you will get full mark. Irregular supply of energy. How will you elaborate? You can write that the energy supply is irregular. So the production of steel is also low. Poor infrastructure. We have to write here that we are, the machine usage has to improve. The more we use machinery, the more the production of steel. High cost and limited availability of coking coal. This you can just write coking coal availability is low and also this makes its price shoot up or they are very expensive. You can write it in your own words. Lower productivity of labor. As less machines are used, the production is less. This also you can write in your own words. I am just giving you ideas. So these points you have to elaborate. Which is the state that is the largest producer of steel in India? Odisha. Let's learn about the difference between mini steel plant and integrated steel plant. It is an important question. Mini steel plant, a smaller plant, it has electric furnace, use steel scrap and sponge. We know that steel scrap, they control heat with steel making processes on. Sponge iron is also very important steel making as they act as substitute for scrap. They have re-rollers that use steel in God. Re-rollers, they shape the metal into sheet. And what is steel in God? Nothing but a mass of metal cast into shape and size, various shape and size. They are used for construction. They produce milder alloy steel. Alloy steel means it includes other elements like manganese, nickel. It is not only steel. But whereas integrated steel plant, they produce only steel and they are larger in size. They handle everything in one complex, right from putting together raw material to steel making, rolling and shaping. Hope it is clear. Say, Steel Authority of India Limited. Most of the public sector undertakings market their steel through sale. Now, let's learn about the largest producer and consumer of steel, which is the country, China. Now next important topic and the question is based on this that is Chota Nagpur Plateau. The region has maximum concentration of iron and steel industry. These are all our MCQ based questions. So Chota Nagpur Plateau region has maximum concentration of iron and steel industry. Why Chota Nagpur Plateau region has the maximum concentration of iron and steel industry? relative advantages this region has for the development of this industry. The points are low cost of iron ore. Iron ore is way, way cheaper here. That's because iron mines are in close proximity. High grade raw material in proximity. So the quality of raw material is of high grade. That also helps in the industry's establishment in this area. Cheap labor. So Chota Nagpur Plateau, this extends in the states such as Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh. So people from here, all these states come to Chota Nagpur Plateau to work. So the labor is quite cheap. You can write like that. People from all these nearby states are easily available. So the labor is also quite cheap. Vast potential in home market. As the transport and road network are well developed, it's very easy to transfer the products to the market. So vast potential in home market. We can write like that also. Okay. Now let's India is an important iron and steel producing country in the world, yet we are not able to perform to our full potential. Why? An important question. If you remember another question, why is the per capita consumption of steel so low in India? Both these questions have same answer. Regular supply of energy, poor infrastructure, high cost and limited availability of coking coal, lower productivity of labor. 
Please elaborate and write according to the marks. India imports good quality steel. Still we are importing. Liberalization and foreign direct investment have given a boost to the industry with the effort of private entrepreneurs. The foreign investment has happened because of the effort taken by private businessmen and women. Before we end this video, I would like to explain few terms like pig iron, cast iron, wrought iron. You should know what are these. Pig iron, it is a solid form of hot metal obtained from iron ore or scrap recycling. We know what a scrap is. It is used as raw material for iron steel making and most of this material is imported. Now comes cast iron. Iron that has been melted, poured into a mold and allowed to cool. Last one, wrought iron, W-R-O-U-G-H-T. Iron that has been heated, then worked with tools. So, the cast spelling is C-A-S-T, cast iron. So, now you know the various terms also. Children, go through the entire video, read the NCRT textbook thoroughly, understand, study, Use this video to boost your revision. I'm sure you're all going to get excellent mark in upcoming board exam. All the best. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe and share Tejas Education. Thanks again.